what's going on y'all welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i transform this photo right here this is the raw photo literally straight out of the camera to this beautiful masterpiece so if you want to learn how to level up your skills and bring more higher quality to your work watch this video all the way through so some of the things i'm going to be going over in this video is how to control highlights shadows and just different things like that as well as how to control colors you know bringing more you know definition and color and life to your photos as well as like removing objects photo manipulating and just different things like that so let's go ahead and jump right into the video so the first thing i'm going to do here is hold control shift a and it's going to bring up the camera raw filter and i always like to do the basic adjustments of the photo first because I don't have to worry about it later on. So the first thing I'm gonna do right here is zoom in on the photo and you see like it's very bright right here. So the, the entire photo is bright. So what we're gonna do is just drop the exposure down a little bit, just so it's not so bright, right? And I'm also gonna raise the shadows as well as, let's try lowering the whites, right? So not too much is even needed here. This is what it's looking like before and this is what it's looking like now. It's already looking pretty great. All right, so if I zoom in here, we're going to notice there's not really that much texture or detail going on. I mean, you can really see the detail in her face, but I want it to be a little bit more sharper than what it looks like now. So I'm going to raise the textures a little bit as well as the clarity and makes it a little bit more sharper. Right. So like I said, not too much was actually even needed here. So we can go ahead and move on to the next step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this subject for now. This is a subject layer. Actually, let me grab the rectangle tool and then remove these white edges. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way now. So essentially all I did just now was use the rectangle tool to go over one area and then hold shift and then grab the other side, right? So when you hold shift, it's basically just adding more to the photo. And when you hold alt, it removes some of that. So from here, all we're going to do is right click, go to generator fill and just generate. I mean, you can generate a prompt and say, you know, remove white boxes, but it's really just unnecessary if you can literally just click generate and it's going to give you a result that looks like this. So from here, it usually gives you three different variations to choose from. So you can go through and figure out which looks best. All right. So I'm thinking I like this one a little bit more because the first one that it generated, it looks like there's some stuff going on back here like it generated a, uh, a tree and this one just looks more open and empty right so i'm gonna do that one and then over here where that tree is i'm actually gonna remove that and the reason why i'm removing this is because having too many large objects in the photo it just takes the attention away from the subject i mean in some cases you know like some people will say Oh, having other things in the photo, you know, like it helps the perspective and it tells a story and just different things like that. But for me, if I'm doing a portrait like this, I just like to keep it simple. Um, we want all the attention on the subject. I mean, we got the river in the background, trees, we're in a park. I mean, it's nature vibes, you know what I mean? It looks great, but just certain things like this. I just feel like it just takes away the attention away from the subject. So I'll remove stuff like that. All right. So here's what we got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to frequency one again because it changed the name of the layer because we use generative fill. So I'm going to name that back to frequency one. And then I'm going to name this top one details, right? Go to the bottom layer and then add an empty layer in between that. And this one's going to be shadow. So what we're doing right now is all of these shadows that's on her face, like up here, um, on her chin right here. We're just going to go ahead and remove those. So I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. So you want to grab this details layer right here. Go up here to filter. Go to other high pass, right? You always want to have it on 1%. You don't have to go any higher than that. Okay. And then we want to change the blending mode to pin light to bring it back to that transparency, right? So essentially all we did was we had two layers. There were two duplicates of the same layer and we just removed the details from one layer. All right. So that's what that is right now. So if I hide it and unhide it, nothing changes. Right. So that's what we want. So this shadows layer, we're going to hold all and then we're going to clip it to this bottom layer. I mean, there's two different ways you can do that. You can do it how I just taught you by holding all and then in between that line, separating frequency one and shadows, you can click on that line and it's going to clip it to that or you can right click on that layer and then go up, create clipping mask and it's going to clip it to that bottom layer. 
All right, so from here, I'm gonna grab the brush tool. I wanna make sure the flow up here is on 50, or not 50, 5%. And then I just wanna go through and start copying shadows where I want them to be, right? So essentially all I'm doing is I'm holding Alt and then I'm copying a color. And then I'm just going through and removing those shadows. Right. Now, when I say remove shadows, I don't mean remove all the shadows. We want to definitely keep some of the shadows because we want the photo to still look real. I mean, you have light coming on her face from this direction, right? So because her hair is here and the light is coming here, of course, there's going to be shadows here. And by removing those, it just looks fake. We want to make the photo look as professional as possible, but that doesn't mean removing absolutely everything, right? So just copying these colors, fixing it up here. So once I'm done, this is what it's looking like, right? So this is before, and this is after removing the shadows. Now you're gonna see like right here on the chin, it looks kind of weird, right? But don't worry, like we're gonna blend all of that together. So I'm gonna grab all three of these layers. So I'm gonna hold, you know, go to details layer, and then I'm gonna go to frequency layer, holding shift, right? And it's gonna grab all three of those layers. From here, I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna merge layers. All right, so now I'm gonna name this frequency one again, and then I'm gonna duplicate that layer, and this one's gonna be frequency two. So from here, we're gonna remove the details from frequency two, but it's gonna be a different way than we did it the first time, right? So image, apply image. We're gonna change the blending mode to add, make sure it's on invert, and then change the layer to frequency one. All right, make sure the scale is on two, opacity is at 100 percent and just click okay now it's going to give you this right here all right so on frequency one you want to go to filter blur and then gaussian blur y'all's are probably going to be a little different i mean if you have a closer up subject where her face is like right there in the frame like more closer you're going to want to do a much higher radius but for me she's kind of further back so i want to do one and you just want to have it to where like her the details and the textures of her face are just now disappearing so um this looks fine and then we're going to go over here to the mixer brush tool make sure that the color picker is on white you can copy these settings up here at the top so you want to make sure that the weight is on 99 percent the load is at 75 the mix is at 100 and so on and so forth and then from here i'm just going to go through and then start smoothing the skin all right so i'm just blending all of these lines together everything just so that it can come out for a more polished look right all right so from here i want to fix up these colors a little bit so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add an adjustment layer the hue and saturation and then i'm gonna just take the masters all the way up to about 30 percent now let's bring it down a little bit 20 percent looks fine and then i'm gonna add a curves layer i'm gonna drag this highlights point down just to lower those highlights and then i'm going to bring this black point up just a little bit just to add that like fady look in the photo that's just something that i love to do on my photos and then i'm going to bring this contrast point down just a bit as well and there we go y'all this is my entire retouching process if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to this channel and share this video with somebody who you feel like will be interested and enjoy this kind of content, right? My masterclass is also available for booking. So if you wanna learn more of my retouching secrets and techniques, go ahead and send me a DM and I'll help you in every area that you need. All my links are gonna be in the description of this video. And again, I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.